Hey everyone, it's me, Eric Kimball, and today in this video, I am going to introduce you to a very old lighting device. It's called the four burner cruiser lamp. When I say old, we're talking 1700s. We're talking colonial era America. This was the most common lighting device in colonial era America, and it burned animal fat. Everyone had pigs back then, and those pigs made a lot of fat. And when you render fat, pig fat down, you get lard. And they cooked with lard, they preserved food with lard, and they lit their homes with lard. I got lard, and I got myself a four burner cruiser lamp, and I wanna show it to you right now. Okay, here it is. This is the lamp. It's a hanging lamp. And I'll pivot it around different, um, different ways. See if we can keep her in focus for you. So you can get the idea. There's the, it would be a reservoir and the wicks would come up in each of those four corners. You can see right here, if I get it in focus, it's got some nice forging, hand forging, twisting there. And here on the end is a wick pick that was used to adjust the wicks. All right, and I'll just show you the bottom real quick. That's it, it's sealed. All right, I bought this on eBay in 1998. I don't remember what I paid, it wasn't much, but I see these now on eBay. A few of them listed at quite a high amount. I might end up selling this thing. Anyway, that's that. Let me show you something else. This right here is a four burner cruiser lamp that I made back in 1998 when I was interested in these fat burners. And uh, it's just, this happens to be a piece of heavy gauge copper. I soldered that center stand and I'm gonna light this up too so you can see this. So this chain right here is something that I made and it is very similar to a, an old fashioned uh, chain that I saw on a hanging lamp in a picture. And uh, if anyone's interested, I'll do a video showing how to make these. It's kind of a neat, a neat hanging chain. I'm gonna use some of this fiberglass wick. And of course they didn't have fiberglass wick back in colonial America. They just used pieces of cotton, whatever they had, I suspect. All right, so we got some lard right here. store bought it, of course. We'll carve off a honk here, put it in there. And we'll carve off another honk. Wanna make sure we got a good supply, good supply of fuel there. Yeah, now we'll do what, what they did in the old days. They got their heat gun out. See if we can reduce that down. Here we go. Get some heat on that. We're getting there. It's, it's melting very nicely and it's starting to travel up the wick. I need to adjust my wicks. Shut that off. I got my wick pick here, not the wick. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, there you can see the lard is melted and I've got the wick down in there, and uh, the, the, the lard is up to the top of the wick, and I'm going to pull the wick up a little bit and light it. All righty, get a little bit of wick up here, like that. Get a little bit of wick up here. Come on now, there we go. There we go, and there we go. My goodness. There we go. Isn't that nice? I probably need to do some adjusting there, but you got the idea. That fat burns really well. Puts out good light, and I don't smell anything. Unlike the liquid paraffin, 
in my bright Betty lamps, which you can smell after a while, and it does get kind of uh, objectionable. I don't think you have that with lard. The only problem with this lamp is that um, it will start dripping. The the it'll it'll pull the the uh, fat up, and it'll burn some, and then some will drip. It'll drip, start drip, drip, dripping down. That's the drawback with these. But I guess people could live with that until someone came up with a with a proper fix. There we go, all natural lard, and there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Got my modern copper four burner cruiser going there. Looking very fine. We got the old one there. Looking equally fine. Lard. A lot of light in that lard. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one.